ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಮನೋಹ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಿಗೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ಸ ಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ನೀಚ ಅದಾನುರಪ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಕರು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕ ಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹಿತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ವ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
भयम प्रमत्त शोभनीशु पिशाद या तहाँ से आस्ते शहशा टपत्निया जितें द्रियस्य आत्मरतिर उदश्यो शंकशार बंधन किंगु कर दिया बादियाँ गौरी गोष्ठी पोती सिसिल भक्ति शिद्धांत दो सालों शोधी गोष्ठ में लोग भोपाल परमंगश जगत गुरु told that if you are not ready to give everything to Bhagavan and to the lotus feet of Bhagavan, then there is no possibility that you can get Bhagavan. Then there is no possibility that you can get the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Gauriya Goshtipati, Sri Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goshtami Dhaka Prabhupada, Paramahamsa Jagadur said that, if you are not ready to give everything, all, unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan, then there is no possibility that you can get the lotus feet of Bhagavan. You cannot get the eternal service of Bhagavan. Sarvasya tamar charane sab, Sarvasya tamar charane sapiya, parichi tamar ghare, तुमी तो ठाकुर तुम्हार कुकुर बोलिया जानो हम मुरे कीर्तन यू नो यू हार्ड दिस कीर्तन और मानसा देहो गेहो जो किचु मोरो और पिनु तुआ पंदे नंदो किशोर यू हार्ड ना मानसा देहो गेहो जो किचु मोरो और पिनु तु आप दे नंद की शो इस इस I mean everything all we will have to give unto the lotus feet of भगवान otherwise you cannot get the lotus feet of भगवान you can get something but you cannot get the lotus feet of भगवान भगवान speaking at the time of your birth, at the time of your birth, what you brought? You brought something when you took birth? What you brought? Nothing. At the time of your birth, you brought nothing with you. At the time of your going, you cannot take anything from with you. That you forget. Bhagavan speaking, when you are going to leave this material world, you cannot take nothing, even not your body, which you call my body. Which you call my body, that body also you cannot, you have no allowed, no right to take. Bhagavan speaking, whatever you have taken up to now, money, position, rank, whatever you have taken, all you have taken from here, yes or not? Whatever building or land, whatever, whatever you got, whatever you have achieved up to now, that all you have taken from this material, even education, even whatever speciality you are developing, all you have taken from this. Nothing you brought with you at the time of your birth. Nothing you brought. All you, all you are taking from here, everything, even your body. So all you have to give back and go alone, naked. You came naked and you have to go naked. Came naked, no? No cloth was there when you took birth. Even no cloth was there. So you will have to go without this. Prabhupada many times speaking, yesterday also I told, so much focus we are giving, so much focus we are giving in material things, that there is less possibility, there is less possibility, that we can get some relation power. People are less interested. You believe or not, for the past one or two years, I can completely realize that some fearful situation going to create. More fearful, nothing now, nothing now. 
Now what you are feeling is nothing. Very shortly, one very fearful situation is going to be created. In which bhajan is completely impossible. That situation is going to be created by Maya. How to protect your body, mind, that also a big issue. People are so focusing. They have no time. They have no time to give for Bhagavan. This is a condition, painful condition. But Prabhupada speaking, I am doing my duty. I am also doing my duty. My Guru Maharaj also told. Somebody asked Guru Maharaj, in this old age, all day and night you are writing, who can read it? To Guru Maharaj, one officer from Port Trust. Guru Maharaj told, you see, I am writing because Prabhupada gave me instruction. I am writing for my own good. And if, if at all somebody uh, lucky, they can go through this writing and get some benefit. That's why I am writing. I am not writing for money, position, honor, everybody can say, oh, so nice writing. Not writing. Bhakti Thakur also. Bhakti Thakur also, all is writing, all for, dedicated completely for Bhagavan. If Bhakti Thakur, if Bhakti Thakur at all wanted to get Patishtha, then no material poet or writer could stand in front of him. You don't know. Even Rabindranath Rabindra Thakur, even, you know, Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay, nobody could stand. If Bhakti Thakur wanted to get some material Patishtha, very easy, this way. Nobel laureate Rabindranath Thakur cannot stand in front of Bhakti Thakur. But Bhakti Thakur never wanted to come. He is doing for Bhagavan. Still today, you cannot believe I know, but still today, in this, in this material world, there is such sadhus, those who are really want to do something from Bhagavan. They are less interested to get Lapita. No interest. They are not feeling any taste. But still they are doing. So Prabhupada told, I am doing my duty. Guru Padma also told, I am doing my Harikatha mean I am doing my bhajan. Harikatha is my bhajan, so I am doing my bhajan. Also same thing. No expectation in return. Totally. The slok I started with, really amaz amazing slok, excellent. If you think that is really so, Brahma speaking to his grandson, Brahma speaking to his grandson, Priya brother. Brahma speaking to Priya Brata. When Priya Brata took decision to go to forest, many such character you can find in Bhagavatam, not one. Like Angaraj or Devapi, this Priya Brata, so many. They are having the chance to get the whole honor and position all over the world, but they are less interested. In Bhagavatam, there are so many such cats. That's why, yesterday I saw, also I told, that why Prabhupada wanted to go through fast can do gradually. Why? Because if we go through one by one, then we can gather a huge amount of knowledge and we can develop detachment by going through the character and behavior, all, all bhakta, or everything you can do. Atra sarga visarga sya sthanam pasana mutayo manantara ishanu katha nirodha mukti rasrayaha This kind of all things, all everything, one by one, everything there in Bhagavatam. 
But you need to take shelter of Sadhu. One Mahabhagavat. Who is himself Bhagavat? Who is not himself Bhagavat? What he can understand Bhagavat? If he is himself Bhagavatam, like Gorgusya Bhagavat, you can find no educational qualification with Gorgusya Bhagavatam. You cannot find. He is not a, an erudite scholar, not that. But any slok you speak, how it is possible for Gokushar Bhaji Maharaj to pass commentary? Exactly. How possible? Because each and every word of Bhagavatam is Bhagavan himself. And since Bhagavan is con confined inside the heart of Gorkisar Bhaji Maharaj. That is why there is no shortage of any meaning. Since Bhagavan is confined inside the heart of Gorkisar Bhaji Maharaj, the meaning coming from Bhagavan, meaning all knowledge and everything all coming from Bhagavan, source is Bhagavan. Na? So that is why there is no shortage of any meaning inside the heart of Gorkisar all meaning can come. It's really a miracle. How possible? I know myself so many, so many men limited, not so, not one, many. Such sadhu, they have no educational qualification. What to speak about ed educational qualification? Even they don't know what is A, A, K, K, A, B, C, D, nothing. They can give signature this way. Signature they are giving this way. Signature. But they are enjoying full kippah of Gurudev. You cannot believe. Full kippah of Gurudev. Because of his soft heart, very nice heart. Gurudev, in turn, actually it is not a matter of advertisement. Be sure, it is not a matter of advertisement. Oh, I am getting kippah. Not that. On the contrary, those who are getting kippah of Gurudev, they are going to keep it secret. They are not expressing. They are not going to express. They are not going to express this secret thing. Very secretly. Because it is not a matter of advertisement. It is one kind of secret property. Only Gurudev, only Gurudev can know that my this disciple enjoying my full kipa, and that disciple very secretly is, is going to realize that Gurudev is going to give me kipa. This too. Outside people have no information about that. It's not the question of advertisement. Oh, I am enjoying kipa, I am done. So long as you are busy with bhakti, automatically Tinadavi can come. It's not, I'm Tinadavi. You are Tinadavi, your behavior, your talkings, all your, you know, all your lifestyle, everything can be. Pure Sadhguru Vishnu, leading life, if you stay with them, you can go mad. They are sleeping like dog, all dirty. You think they are enjoying their life? They are eating nicely, not that. Even you cannot eat what they are taking. You think they are enjoying their life. Not that. They are sleeping like dog. Surge all around. Nice. Because they are enjoying their life. Because they are enjoying love for Bhagavan. Nah? That is the final thing. So Priyabrata, not only Priyabrata, but also so many. Now, I, just so I was speaking, I know such sadhus, they have no educational qualification. But, they are preaching such a way, you cannot believe. Chaitanya Chaitamitra is there, kept. But he cannot read this, this is written Chaitanya Chaitamitra. Book Chaitanya Chaitamitra is there, it is there, it is. But book Chaitanya Chaitanya Bhagavad is there. But even they cannot read that this is Chaitanya Bhagavad. He cannot believe. 
But they, when they are speaking Harikatha, so nicely, all they are very interested to hear Harikatha, their heart melted. They are the exact, they are speaking exact Siddhanta Vichar. Though there is no educational qualification with them, but you believe or not, maybe you can think I am enemy, I have some partiality, so I am speaking so heavily, why we am all speaking against you? But surely they are not giving me any bribe so that I can speak about them. I spoke Harikatha about them. I spoke Harikatha about them. They are Tirobab, Avirbab. I spoke in Vindavan. People, they gone mad. They thought, they thought that I am speaking about my Gurudev. The way Harikatha, that recording is not there. Of course, it was in Hindi and sometimes in Bengali. You cannot believe, you think, I am speaking about my Gurudev. Really Gurudev. I think they are my Shiksha Guru, though not educated. Even in Siliguri, one Maharaj is the disciple of Bamangusi Maharaj. How externally you can think is mentally crazy. A little bit. But Bamangusi Maharaj, no, he is the actual devotee. Nobody knows. He is educated, but not high educated. But Bamangu Simaj having complete idea how much dedication he has for me, how much love. And Gurudev knowing and a disciple knowing. Only this mutual, understand. Outside people, they have no idea. They, they couldn't even realize that this kind of kippa, this, you know, half learned, not full learned, maybe five or six or ten, eight, he read. When Baman Gosima left his body, when Baman Gosima left his body, in front of Baman Gosima he told, Gurudev, you gone? I am also going. I am going to also going. Now just he told this. In front of Gurudev, speaking, you gone? Okay, I am also going. I cannot stay anymore. Really so. Gurudev gone, just the next day he gone from there. But he is a young man, not old. He cannot believe. How he can believe? What he told is done. His name is Govinda Maharaj. He is the disciple of Bhamangusi Maharaj. He wrote one article where he wrote about me. But personally I have no contact with him. Never. I know him, he knows me. He is hearing Harikatha, okay, internet maybe. But personally, I never meet him, or maybe I meet, met him, maybe I met him before, I cannot remember. But how much love he has for me, I couldn't realize. I have no idea that he have no personal contact with me, I am not giving anything to him, or maybe Harikatha, yes. But writing my article was published in the way he read, but I have no idea how much love he has for respect for me. When he wrote one article, follow, he, article many one previous note. And in that book, also my article was there. It was a protest notebook in which I protest this Siddhanta spoken by Keshav Goswami is perfect. You should not change it. But for the past 25, 30, 40 years, you are fighting to change this Siddhanta. I wrote heavily. And in the preface note, he wrote, after Gurudev, my name. I, I wonder, I am a fallen soul. How possible? He wrote. How much respect and love he has for me. I, was, I started crying. Bhakti to Madhu Goswami Maharaj. His disciple there, in the Bindam I am speaking, because Guru Shishya relation can today come. Today also can come this, this. He used to stay in Vrindavan Govardhan. He was originally one Nepali, Nepali guard man, Darwan. No education, nothing. But he enjoying full kipa Madhugusi Maharaj. Madhugusi Maharaj personally, out of love, 
gave him sannyas. His name was Parvat Maharaj. Even he cannot read what is written in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But still today, if you go to different parts of Vindavan, all old Vrajivasi can, Parvat Baba ki jai ho. If you go to Brahmbe, so many disciples, they are crying in the name of. So I am thinking, how is possible? In one side, there is enormous amount of property, position, law. And another side, the exclusive thing that is called Guru Kipa. How you can estimate? How you can compare? It's not possible for you. So, by the way, I speak because Guru Shishya relation can also come today. So, Priya Brata, he don't like. Priya Brata don't like to become a king. Priya Brata don't like. But Manu, thinking, I am now, I am now growing age, because it was the rule, it was the strict regulation that on those days, that people when attending 60 years, they can go. On that day, the age limit was different. At present, I am speaking, 60. That time, the people used to satyaju one lakh year. People used to live. Tetaju, 10,000 life, life span. And in Daparju, it was 1,000 years. And now, 100. Tenth time, reducing by tenth, tenth time, less. Follow, where I go. So, Priya Brata don't like to become king. So, naturally, he was interested to do bhajan. So, he gone away from kingdom. He gone as a, nobody can search out. Finally, he was found in a very solitary place in, you know, Dronachal Parvat. He was doing bhajan there in a cave. In a cave, he was doing bhajan. And, Naraji Maharaj is a guru giving advice. My son, this way I'll have to realize. Self-realization is not a matter of job. Even if you have, even if you, even if you are going to spend crores of rupees, but still there is no possibility that you can get self-realization. So we cannot compare this property, self-realization, bhakti, with Billions of billions of dollars, we cannot compare. How we can compare? This is just like the comparison with one, with one glass piece and one precious jewel diamond. If some fool is going to compare with very costly diamond, very costly, invaluable, with one glass piece, is it possible? It's not possible. Similarly, how we can compare this spiritual treasure with material treasure? But people doing this, people giving honor to people giving honor to people, those who are of their own stamp. Oh, it's nice. If they're just opposite, they cannot approve them. Useless. Follow what I say. That's why Priya Brato took shelter in Dronachal cave and doing bhajan. In the meantime, Father Manu Maharaj was very much anxiety. Ah, oh, where my son gone? He was very much anxiety. He started searching. Finally, he was found in the cave of Dronachal Parvat. Finally, where he is learning from Gurudev, who? Naraji Maharaj. Now, Manu Maharaj took decision, if, if I, Manu Maharaj took decision, if personally I approach, personally if I approach, maybe I can, I cannot come out successful, I can come failure. So better I can request my father, Brahma, who can help me to bring him back to home. So it's more practical. Then he is going to request Brahmaji, you can go, please, you know, you bring back your grandson, he gone to do bhajan, exclusive bhajan. Then Brahmaji Maharaj coming and 
together with Brahma father Manu Maharaj going to request him, my son, why you are coming here? Bhajan cannot be done at home. Why you, what do you think? Bhajan cannot be done at home. What do you think? Bhajan can done, can be done. Bhajan cannot be done. You see Brahma speaking, you see my son, my grandson, you know. I myself, Sankar Bhagavan, all they are going to obey the strict regulation of our Prabhu. Actually, I am bound to take control over this situation, all creation. This is the order of Bhagavan. Bhagavan told me, na, in Chatush, Chatushraki 4, Slok Bhagavatam, it is written, na, you have to go, carry out. Bhagavan told, na, and after that, Bhagavan also blessed Brahma. Bhavan kalpa vikalpesu na vimujyati karihichit. Bhavan, you, you, you are going to take control over this situation, of creation, your business, very typical job. Creation means Rajagun. Creation means Rajagun. Creation means Rajagun. So it's very typical to keep, to maintain stability of mind. It's really difficult. That I told yesterday, Hangsa, Hangsa Rivyabha, when Chatushan wanted to put question, Brahma was busy with uh, what to do here and there. He couldn't trace out the original root cause. So he wanted to, he wanted to take shelter unto a lotus feet of, he wanted to take shelter unto a lotus feet of, of whom? Bhagavan. So Bhagavan came. So Bhagavan came to hell. Similarly. So Brahma speaking that actually I am going to I am going to carry out the order of Bhagavan. Brahma speaking, Shankar also going to carry out the Bhagavan. So to carry out the Bhagavan, to carry out the order of Bhagavan is we are bound now. Nah? Because he is Bhagavan. Whatever he is going to, so I am going to follow the instruction. So similarly, it is also your responsibility to carry out the order, what, uh, as per delegation of authority. I, I was given delegation by Bhagavan and I have given to Manu, Manu giving to you. The person, this channel, you have to follow, no? If you are not going to follow, what I can do? <laughs> follow. This way, Brahma is going to convince. What is speaking, Brahma speaking? Bhayam pramatta shabani shopishat. Oh my son, if you are going to forest, still some sort of fear can follow you. Why? Because you are going to carry out your own mind, heart, everything, na? all material. Bhayam pramatta shabani shopishat. Even in forest, those material people cannot get peace. Even in forest, material people cannot get peace. Because their mental agitation all the time. Business, this, that money. Why? They can go to Govardhan. I can take you to Govardhan and see. Big, big flat. They are, they are, they are, they are buying flat. They are one, one flat, five crores. Two crores, five crores, one, one flat. They are buying. In a month, they can come one or two days, they can and enjoy AC. Giriraj Maharaj is there, in AC they are taking tea and coffee, glass window. That is their coming to Giriraj Maharaj. That is their coming to Giriraj Maharaj. This is the meaning of their coming. They are going to Ganga, Haridwar to take bath. Oh, so much sinful activity is done. Ganga Maya ki taking bath, after that giving all sinful result and going away. This is not bhakti. This is not bhakti. Follow. So, Brahma speaking, Bhayam Pramatta Shavaneshu Vishat. Pramatta mean, Pramatta mean those are crazy. Pramatta is a Sanskrit word, Bengali also. Pramatta mean, Prakishto rupe matto. If you split up the word, prakishto rupe matto. Matto means mad. They are typical disease. They are crazy, full day crazy. Crazy, 
due to affluences. Craziness due to affluences. Craziness, oh, so much money. They cannot keep balance. So, Brahma speaking, if one crazy man, totally crazy man, extreme case, if he is going to forest, what benefit he can get? Because in forest also he is going to carry out his own mind can go, nah. Same mind, na. What is the utility? You are going, going in your mind, what mind you can take? You can choose any new mind, same mind going. So if you go there, what result you can get? Same mind can put you in trouble. Same mind can put you in trouble. So, Vayam Pramatta Shabanishu Vishat. So, one mad, crazy, full crazy, fanatic personality. If he go to forest, no benefit. No benefit. Vayam Pramatta Shabanishu Vishat. But, if somebody is having sense control, suppose somebody having full sense control, mind control. If he is staying in front of society, if he is speaking in front of thousands of Matajis here and there, what problem can be there? Because sense control, no? Sense control is there. Mind control, sense control. All internally mind is there into the lotus feet of Gurudev, Param Gurudev. What problem can arise in their life? What problem can arise? So, Bayam Pramatya Svabhanishu Vishad Yataha Saste Shaha Shata Patnya When When somebody is living with six enemies Shaha Shata Patnya Six wives Wives in the sense They cannot be separated from you In this sense Actually Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madho, Mashtajyo Six, right? Kama, Krodha, Lobo, Madho, Mashtajyo The six things are your enemy Bhagavan Sri Krishna also, also told in Gita Kama, Esha, Krodha, Esha, Raja, Guna, Samad, Bhavaha, Mahasana, Mahapapna, Viddin, Menam, Bhairinam, Arjun, Noit, Pasyo That is enemy is there inside you you are searching enemy outside. This society, they are, ah, they are enemy. Our, are you enemy? Where from? <laughs> they think enemy. But enemy itself there, inside you. Enemy is there inside you, no? Bhagavan is, that's why speaking to Arjun. Arjun, enemy is there inside you. But you think uh, you are searching enemy, you are searching enemy outside. Where is enemy? Where is enemy? Blind. <laughs> enemy is there inside you. Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking. Kama Esha, Krodha Esha, Raja Guna, Samad Bhavaha, Mahashana, Mahapapna, Vidyanam, Enam Bairinam. Those are the enemy you are. Be careful. Foolish, you are searching out there. He is my enemy. He is my enemy. Nobody enemy. If one sadhu is, if one sadhu, perfect sadhu, if you can find, you can check up. They have no enmity with anybody, not even with mosquito. No enmity. They never think mosquito is an enmity. Insect is my enmity. By chance, if you go to pick up enmity with him, suppose one, we have seen in the life of Bhakti Pumaturikashi. Miracle. We have, whole life we have seen, no enemy you could, we could find no enemy in the life of Bhakti Pramatpurikshu. No enemy, believe me or not. We never heard anything from the mouth of Guru Maharaj that he has done so much. Yes, never. And those who went against him, unnecessary. Those who went against him, all they destroyed. All those who went unnecessary. He's a very innocent. Like a small boy, five years, not even five. So innocent. But somebody wanted to control him, speaking heavily. Guru Maharaj has no shelter, nothing, no temple, no disciple. Okay. Speaking nothing. When somebody is speaking, Guru Maharaj is not giving reply to them, only hearing. But after that, I have seen. All their life is totally destroyed. 
totally smashed. So those sadhus, they cannot have any enemy. You have any doubt, you can test them. But you think he is speaking this way, he is writing this way, enemy. You think so, no? But no, enemy, no enemy. In the life of one sadhu, you cannot fight any, any enemy. So enemy is there inside you. Kama, Krodha, Loba, Maho, Madho, Master Jiva. North Muthakur, Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bhatima very often. Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bhatima very often used to explain this word. Very often I have seen. That the how North Muthakur wanted to engage Kama, Krodha, Loba, Maho, all in Krishna Seva. Bhakti Vigyan Bhatima very often used to explain it. How North Muthakur North Madagur wanted to engage Kama for the service of Bhagavan. Krodha for the service of Bhagavan. Loba for the service of Bhagavan. Moha for the love. But Master Jo have no application. Master Jo, no application. That's why North Madagur never. Master Jo is very dangerous. If, if anybody having any defects like Loba, Kama, that can be utilized. But if, if you have master jaw, that you cannot find any application. You cannot find any application of that master jaw. Very, very dangerous. If master jaw there, then you, you, no solution. No solution you can find. Very dangerous. So, Brahma, Brahma speaking, so Brahma speaking, to Priyapato, my son, you know, Bhayam Pramatta Shabhanishu Vishat, Yataha Saste Shahashata Padna. If he is going to live with six wives, dangerous, like Kama, Krodha, Lobo, oh, then what is the utility going to forest? And at the same time, if you have controlling of your sense organ, what is the problem if you are staying in the home? Brahma wanted to convince. Brahma wanted to convince his grand, grandson, Jitendriyasya Atma Ratir Buddhasya. Not only Jitendriyasya, be careful. Since control is there, maybe you are successful. So, what it concerned was? Atma Rati is there or not? You are developing any loveful relation with Guru Vaishya Bhagavan or not? Many people were some, they are. Self-control. After that, again they fall down. Jitendriyasya, Atmarati Buddhasya, Atmarati, those who are developing Atmarati, having control over both sense organ, what can, what problem, what problem can be there if he is going to stay in family life? Like the case, I can say, I can give you example, not one false philosophy. I can give the example, so many examples. Ambarish Maharaj, self-control. Ambarish Maharaj is controlling the whole world. But self-control, no problem. Pithu Maharaj, Yudhishthir Maharaj, eh? at the same time, they, you know, what do you call that? Uh, Janak Maharaj, Janak Maharaj, you know the position of Janak Maharaj? You can go mad. You don't know. You, you have no idea. Not only you, nobody have any idea. What is the position of Janak Maharaj? Such a great elevated, big, big Rishi Manis coming to learn from him. Atma Tattva. How you cannot even imagine what is the position of Janak Maharaj? Even Shukdev Goswami was sent to be tested by Janak Maharaj. Test certificate was given by Janak Maharaj. Shukdev Goswami, the topmost Paramahansa. Come on. Eh? Shukdev Goswami, topmost Paramahansa. He was given certificate by whom? Janak Maharaj. He was given certificate. It's pakka, pakka, no problem. Now you understand the position of Chalak Maharaj, but still he is with 
all common people, going to teach them. That's why if you go through Gita, you can find the name of Janak Mara spoken by Krishna. Janak Adayu, Janak Adi. Though they have no, they have no interest. Krishna Bhagavan speaking, you can go through Gita. Gita Bhagavan speaking, Janak Adayu. They have no interest in material world. But still, to engage people in particularly particular service, you know, Varnasam Dharma, to engage them for their benefit, he is acting like that. He is sitting in the golden chair, but mind is unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Externally, you can discover he is sitting in the golden chair, diamond, everything fitting. But he's, he is actually sitting unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Is it good or not? Is it good or not? So Brahma wanted to convince Brahma, Brahma wanted to convince his grandson, my son. This way, he was successful to he was successful to convince his grandson. Then grandson now, because he cannot ignore. Very senior now, Brahma and grandfather is very honourable. Okay, as you say, come back. But Brahma was little bit upset. Brahma was little bit upset. Because why? Brahma was thinking in himself, I have done not good. My grandson was approaching towards Bhagavan. He already developed detachment, everything. And he said, I bring him back. What to do? I have done it. But this is not good. Brahma was a little bit upset. It is written in Bhagavan. After after he was successful to bring back his grandson, Brahma it is written. Brahma was a little bit upset. I have done nothing good. Because to engage people in Hari Bhajan is very difficult. To engage in Hari Bhajan in my whole life. In my whole life I have not seen even a single except Guru Varga, who is really interested with Hari Bhaja, doing something. But they cannot touch Nishingadev and speak, I need Bhagavan. It's so rare. So rare. So if somebody interested to do Hari Bhaja, if some lucrative offer, somebody going to put in front of, well, I can give you, come. Like the case of Madhav Goswami, one very rich, very rich man, he wanted to offer you. We have no son. If you come, we have billions of dollars. We can give to you our son. We can come back. Also, I told that many such cases. Bhakti Shauda Asam Maharaj, who was in Madras, Brahmachari, Bhutabrit Prabhu, he was offered by one Matajis from England, old lady. She told Bhutabrit, if you are ready to marry my daughter, very beautiful daughter, learn it, then I can give all my property. You can stay in England. Bhutabhrit was speaking, well, what I can do? I had my property in my home, land, property, everything. I leave it, I need the lotus feet of my Guru Maharaj. So I cannot go. So this way, any amount of property, position, man, any amount, cannot make a Vaishnava upset. They are always having stability. So, here also we can find the Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, actually, without the help of Guru Path Padma, without the help of Guru Path Padma, it is really impossible to cross over this material world. Uddha beats you. Bonded soul can never cross over the material world without the kripa of Guru Vishnu, in true sense, not external kripa. It is impossible. But to, to get kripa, Gurudev like to give kripa. Guru, Gurudev like to give kipa to me, no? but also I should have my sincerity. 
and quality to accept that kipa, but I can have no. You should have no. Yesterday I told so many things about guru and disciple. I already told. Guru and disciple. I already told. I already told that it is possible that you can mix water with water. I told you, no? Oil with oil. But if you like to mix oil and water, you can face some problem. It's not possible. This way, if the, if the, heart, if the heart of Gurudev and if the heart of disciple is always matching, then then Uddhavji Maharaj, to, to Uddhavji Maharaj, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking. Then Uddhavji Maharaj speak, I mean Krishna speaking to Uddhavji Maharaj. In that case, there will be a very successful relationship. Because Guru likes to give you and you, you are successful to catch it. You should have my power. Only Gurudev like to give me. I have no sincerity, no quality. How I can? I cannot capture it, no? How I can accept it? So, both way. I mean, the, on behalf of disciple, some special quality should be there. I mean, 100% submission. No se smell of any separate desire, nothing. At the same on the behalf of Gurudev, he is watching the disciples 100% sober personality. Sober, actually sober this word I don't like to use, but what to do? Without this there is no matching word. Snik the shisha. And actually Sanskrit meaning and Bengali meaning is snik the shisha. But if you translate you will have to take help of this word. But actually this word is not matching. This is not the appropriate word, but what to do? What, what, what you can use? No word there. Sober personality we cannot use. Sober is not the exa ex exact meaning of this Snigdha Shisha. Snigdha means something else. Snigdha means who is Snigdha? Prabhupada speaking. Prabhupada is going to explain. Who is Snigdha? Who is Snigdha? You can find all the qualities of Guru Padma, basic qualities, all coming in disciple. Same test. If Gurudev is very interested about Shastra, writing everything, disciple also you can find. If not so, there is some disparity. If not so, Guru Padma many times used to laugh and joke with me. One word. I couldn't realize that time. He used to say, Bap ka beta, sipai ka ghora. He used to joke with me in Hindi, Bap ka beta, sipai ka ghora, kuch nahi to thoda thoda. <laughs> the son, like son, like father. And horse and the matching rider. I mean, who is riding? Is giving result. Guruma used to joke with me. <laughs> I don't know why. Bab ka beta, matching son, matching father, matching father, matching son, can give result. And horse is very trained, and the man who is riding the horse is matching, then the result can come, very nice result. Bab ka beta, sipai ka ghora, kuch nahi to thora thora. He used to speak this way. This kind of joke. So, it is true. The Snigdha Shishya means he is having all the basic qualities of Guru Thir. Like the case of Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. Keshav Goswami Maharaj was Duranda, talented personality. Among all our Gurudev, among all our Gurudev, Keshav Goswami Maharaj had some very special, so fine intelligence. Bapri Bhav. You cannot imagine. And Srila Bhaman Goswami Maharaj developing the same quality. Gurudev also, very versed in Shastra, disciples also. Same Siddhanta was same. Only externally you can find Keshav Goswami Maharaj is tough, 
he is a little bit soft. This much. This can be there. This is the expression. Actually, Vaishnavas, they all have qualities. 26 different qualities. Humbleness is natural there. But externally, some Vaishnava expressing some tough mood. That doesn't mean he has no tinadu. People think wrongly. That Santo Goswami has no humbleness. Are <laughs> Santo Goswami has not humbleness. Humbleness is there. But you cannot discover. It is there. Quite natural. So, Bhaman Goswami expression is a little bit different. And Kesu Goswami is a little bit, a little bit different. This much you can say. Otherwise, all total. What kind of perseverance, what kind of tolerance power, all, everything matching. Even Himalaya can fail in front of Bhaman Goswami. Himalaya can fail. So, tolerance, you know, power. That is called Vaishnava. Why they can tolerate? Because they have no desire to get La Puja If If you need La Puja Padishta, then you cannot maintain your tolerance. Tolerance can be there in you. Tolerance can be there in you when there is no desire for La Puja. No La Puja Padishta and tolerance already there. Follow. It's an automatic fact. So, sober personality means he is having all matching heart with Gurudev. All the qualities of Gurudev can come. All say, no disparity, not at all. If the whole world is going to say, well, he is the only person going to enjoy full Guru Kipa, still you can get zero. Whole world is going to give both. Oh, he is, oh, he is, the, oh, he, is not, he has done Seva of Guru. But finally, if one Tattavit Purush can come, he can detect within fraction of a second. He is not enjoying Kipa. One Tattavit Purush within fraction of a second can prove, in front of public, can prove. That is not enjoying Kipa. If enjoying Kipa, then why this kind of mentality developing? It totally deviated from the track of Guru Pad. But the whole world going to, oh, he is a garland giving, he is a foolish man. I told that then, uh, what is not available where, the foolish people like to get that thing from there. <laughs> what is not available from where, it is the nature of foolish public to get that thing from there. That is the foolish thing. Oh, you give me knowledge, and knowledge is not there in how he can give you. He can cheat you. But foolish people learning. So, Yesterday our conclusion was Asahi Paramaduksham Nairasham Paramansukham. That was the conclusion yesterday. Now, so many things, actually our, uh, uh, is this Brahman, I mean, did Abadud Brahman like to speak? If you are developing any attachment for any material thing, that is the main reason of your suffering. But you cannot give attention. The reason, the reason of your suffering, you are not ready to trace out the original reason. If you are developing any attachment for anything in the material world, then finally, you are going to get pain automatically. You can pain. If some sadhu not going to expect anything from anyone, no expectation. No expectation from anybody. But a desire of Bhagavan, whatever Bhagavan is going to arrange, he is going to lead his life that way. He's not going to say, give me, give me, give me, no, automatically running. He is happy. He is happy. Now, Bhagavan speaking, all the mutual infighting, you can find one place, please you can find and show me, one place where there is no infighting. Everywhere infighting. Somewhere it is not exposed, 
Somewhere it is not exposed in public and somewhere it is spent. It is not exposed in public, that's why you don't know. But always tension, anxiety, fighting there. Why? Nobody likes to avoid Pratishtha, which is the most basic thing. I can remember long ago I told, maybe online Harikatha. Sriman Mahaprabhu was the Mahaprabhu Supreme Lord. The naturally Mahaprabhu Supreme Lord, he was the topmost personality in the whole world, in the infinity world. He is the topmost personality who is having full knowledge about Nay. Nay, you know? Nay Shastra. You don't know Nay Shastra? Nay, Nay. Nay. Mahaprabhu topmost. When Mahaprabhu took birth, on those days, when Mahaprabhu took birth, Varanasi and Mithila, and Minikama Janak Maharaj, the kingdom of Janak Maharaj was Mithila. It is just Bihar end and Nepal starting. Very nice, all hilly place. Shita Devi took birth there, Shita Mori. I never went there, I know the name, Shita Mori. But Shita Devi took birth. Took birth means from field, he was discovered. Hello. So, what, what happens, you know, that time, Mithila, very important kingdom in the whole India. India was, India was up to Gandhar, Afghan. India now, division, division now limited. Now, that time, India was extending up to East, so, waste so long. But now you cannot find. Now all divisive attitude, all broken, 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 broken. Madagascar, you heard Madagascar? You never heard. Durga Puja there, Bengali people there. All was in India. But now separate from India. Pakistan, Burma, all everything, all up to Afghan, all India. But now broken. So, Nepal was India, everything India. Now, division, division there. So, that time, Kashi Varanasi and Mithila was the two fold, fold of, fold of Naya Shastra. At the same time, some exalted you know, personally, we are there, here, and uh, so many Pandit also. Navadi was the topmost place in whole India. If somebody is going to get certificate from Navadi, then it is authentic. If somebody is going to take certificate from Navadi, oh, Navadi, oh, no problem, it's a big problem, big. That time, Mahaprabhu wrote one book on Naya Shastra. Come on, Mahaprabhu wrote one book on Naya Shastra. Follow, Mahaprabhu wrote. Nobody knows. Now at present we have no idea. We have no evidence that Mahaprabhu wrote one book. But it is there, Mahaprabhu wrote. But it means it. Only we know she cast upon six slokas of Mahaprabhu written by. And all the Goswami books and everything, whatever Harikatha we are speaking, all the explanation of that, eight sloka, nothing else. All the explanation of that, six slokas, eight slokas, Shikastakam. So Mahaprabhu wrote one Naya Shastra book. After that, one of his friends who wanted to become, who wanted to become topmost professor of Naya regarding speech and writing. So Mahaprabhu someday crossing the river in a boat. And Mahaprabhu giving this book, what written by him, to his friend. Because sometimes discussing about Naya. So he gives the you check up the how this book is. And that friend reading the book, 
After reading the first page, he started, he bursted into tears. Mahaprabhu asked him, why you are crying? Why, what, what is the reason why you are crying? He was not giving answer. Finally, he started speaking. After reading your book, nobody can read my book. After hearing your, this kind of judgment, nobody can hear. So I wanted to become the topmost and not possible. Mahapo was speaking, oh, this is the thing. Mahapo would oh, this much thing. Mahapo was laughing, oh, this much thing you want. Okay, let me throw this book into Ganga. Mahapo would throw this book into Ganga. Okay, okay, you become topmost. So you see, such sadhus are there. Maybe in not in your knowledge. Maybe it is not your knowledge. Such sadhus are there. They can, they can do anything by the mercy of Bhagavan, but they are not doing. One big Vedanta sadhu in, go, in our Vrindavan, all big, big Vedanta professor, they came to request him to take in one assembly, to, give, to confer he a big title of Vedanta. All they are coming. He is very, very niskinjan sadhu. He is doing Harinam. All they came together to request him, Kuru, please come. We like to confer your big title of Vedanta. Then the sadhu hearing, after that becomes so angry, so angry, out from here. Jump! Get out from here. <laughs> Get out from here. They're gone. He's speaking so heavily. Vedanta is not a matter. Vedanta is not a subject on the basis of which I can gather some stool and urine. Go away from here. Get lost. Don't come to me. He don't like to get any title. But he is the topmost. But you cannot believe. Because you have general conception of usually people getting title. Popa got any title? Never. If Popa wanted to get Vedanta, Bhagavat, you know, Acharya, so many times. You can get a one kilometer, two kilometer length title. <laughs> but Popa never wanted to get title. Only in the, when he was small age, somebody conferred him this Saraswati. That also he used to write, not Bhakti Siddhanta. Out of Hamalas, he used to sign in a paper and letter. Popa used to sign in a letter and paper as Siddhanta Saraswati. Not writing Bhakti Siddhanta, it is one kind of adversity. Ah, Bhakti Siddhanta, out of humbleness. All is used to sign. I have the letter, direct letter of Popat. I have so many letters. Signature, Popat. I like to put in new place here, they are with. <laughs> but who is interested? Nobody interested. I am dying my duty. I know nobody interested, but still I can try. So you see, but that, you know, Krishna speaking, Uddhav, that Brahman started speaking something special to that, you know, to that Jodhu Maharaj. Jodhu Maharaj, you know the basic reason of fighting? You know the basic reason of the fire all around this world, fire. You know, unnecessarily, why? Can be some reason. Can be. But that could be solved. But they are fighting. Russia going to fight that, he going to fight that. All involved, lakhs of people dying, all this. What is the net outcome, you know? Maybe some problem. You could solve it. You can sit and try to find solution. Unnecessarily. Start fighting all economic, you know, economical crisis, political crisis, all over the world, fire. If you like to search out the original reason of this fighting, you can find that Patishtha is the main thing. America like to dominate the whole world. Russia like to dominate the whole world. They like to dominate each other. I am the boss. This is the reason. Everybody like to, everybody like to prove his own supremacy, supremacy. 
fighting going on. If everybody having some tolerance, mutual understanding, then there no question of fighting can come. Can come any fighting? Why? Why in our devotional field we are scattered? Some group for following that acharya, who is wrong totally. Somebody following this acharya, somebody following that acharya, somebody following some woman as acharya. All that's why I told her for the past two years minimum, I can see clearly. Big fire going to grab the whole world. I can see clearly. Oh, political field, educational field, devotional field, all destroyed. Clearly, I can see. So I have no desire. Now at present, I like to leave this material world, but I cannot leave. I have so many responsibilities. Big problem all around. Even you are running in an honest way. Perfect way, shown by Prabhupada, still everybody can come and fire you. Why you are following the Prabhupada? That is your fault. Why you are going to follow the Prabhupada? That is how I can fire you. That is the reason. Externally they can jai Prabhupada, jai, they can speak. But internally they are planning how to kill that man. This is a situa dangerous situation. So Bhagavan. Sri Krishna was speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, now that Abhadud Brahman, now that Abhadud Brahman started some special advice, I mean a special experience, I mean the teachings he got, to Jadu Maharaj. Jadu Maharaj, you know the basic reason, what is the, what is the basic reason of all hot environment? That is the basic reason that position. Everybody like to enjoy their position. If any shortage of honor and position, they can kill you. Same thing, same thing that Brahman, Abhadud Brahman speaking to Jodhu Maharaj. Jodhu Maharaj, one small bird, very small but innocent bird, somewhere that bird could find on one piece of flesh. One piece. He want, that bird wanted to enjoy. Very, you know, very, so, so, that bird flying, Kurori Praksha. And in the English word is called, I don't know, because in dictionary also, Kurori Praksha in Bhagavad only there. Anyway, one bird. That bird flying with a piece of that flesh, in the brick catching. And all dangerous, you know, bird going to attack. Coming, running, and with very fearful mood. Fearful mood going to attack. The small bird thinking, I have done nothing wrong. Why do you want to fight me? The small bird cannot calculate the out of estimation. Why they are going to I have done nothing. Only I am flying in my own way. Finally, out of fear that the small bird, by chance that piece of place, come out of the brick holding and fall down in the ground. The place falling down, falling down. Follow. By chance, it becomes displaced from the brick holding. I was holding in the brick out of fear. Then the bird, small bird, discover that the all birds fearfully going to attack me, now attacking, not now. They are all running towards that piece of flesh. Oh! That was the original reason for why they wanted to kill me. Oh! I couldn't even imagine. Oh my God! That was the reason for why they wanted to fight with me. I have no enmity with anybody. So now that the small bird could realize that that was the original reason for why they wanted to attack me, fight with me. Similarly, that Avadu Sanyas is speaking, Maharaj, 
when the piece of flesh was displaced from the brick holding, the life of that small bird was saved. Similarly, if there is love, puja, patisha, everything, then be sure you can find all enemy around me. Popat cannot be any enemy. The Prabhupada cannot have any enemy, cannot have any enmity with anybody. But still, so many enemies were there all around because of the excellent preaching of the Prabhupada all around the world. His speech was like fire. His speech was like fire, all the spiritual thing coming. It can change your life. It is called preaching. Out of acharan and out of love for Bhagavan, Bhagavan, naturally Bhagavan can give power, it's like fire. Those who are powerful sadhu, you can find naturally they have enemies all around. Naturally, why there is no reason? Why mean this reason? If you say, why Maharaj? That the reason, the answer I already give. I give answer now. Why? What can be the reason? They are not going to collect money, nothing, no, nothing. They are not going anywhere, but still enemies. Why Ramanuja Charjo was in great problem? Due to this enmity. Ramanuja Charjo had no enmity with anybody, but still they wanted to kill Ramanuja. Yes or not? Jadav Prakas and his, Jadav Prakas, his guru, I mean, material guru, all his group, he wanted to kill him. Yes or not? Ramana Chaja has done any wrong, you can point out. You can point out any wrong writing and wrong conception, wrong behavior. Of Ramana Chaja, you can serve for me one single. No. Because Vaishnava is already, already having perfection. Somebody criticizing, out of jealousy. Vaishnavas cannot have any defects. Cannot have. They are pure, always. But we are criticizing. Out of jealousy, so I am going to hell. Madhvacharya, can we expect any enemy of Madhvacharya to have? Madhvacharya. Madhvacharya, you can, can, you, can you imagine one enemy of Madhvacharya? Can you imagine any, any an enemy of Madhvacharya? It cannot so happen. But still there are so many enemies. So many. If, if I go on speaking, you can go mad. Our Prabhupada also published one small book, Mani Manjari. I have the book, very old book. It is from Madhacharya group. There the, they are the situation that time written by one big Madhva, Madhva, Madhva Guru Acharya. What is the name? I forget. It's a very prominent. I have the book, very small book. Here, I gone through the book. I was stunned to see the situation that time. Oh, those Mayavadis, they are going to confine of Madhvacharya Vaishnavas and going to kill. You will have to accept Mayavad. Are you going to catch him? Like hooligan. You will have to catch, you will have to confess Mayabad, otherwise you can give. Externally, that devotee showing Mayabad, not doing any tilak, nothing like Mayabad. It is written. I gone through the small book. I was. How dangerous. How dangerous. Even Buddhists, they wanted to attack Mayabad to establish their supremacy. So always this kind of fighting going on. Always. Tomorrow I can discuss this point. Today I have and not enough time is not there. So you see, we cannot e expect any enemy of Madhvacharya. But still there was enemy of Madhvacharya. You can expect the enemy of Mahaprabhu, but you can find Bhattathari wanted to kill Mahaprabhu. Is it written, no? They wanted to take Carter and everything and attack Mahaprabhu. It is written there. 
So, Pratishtha is a big thing. So, Suddha Guru Vishnam, they like to hide themselves. They don't like to stop speaking Harikatha. But anyway, they like to hide themselves. But uh, because unnecessarily fighting can take place. Anyway, by the desire of Nityananda, the preaching can be done. Preaching means those who are really interested to get bhakti, they can know. Not that lakhs of people can hear. One naked dancing of one lady, everybody can watch. You can find so many lakhs of people watching that video. That is not called preaching. Preaching is always, preaching is always interested about, about the actual teaching, preaching, real teaching. But they are interested about quality, not about quantity. A real preacher, it is written, Pope speaking. A real preacher is always busy with, busy to see quality, not quantity. Oh, I have done so preaching, thousands of desires. Our Guru Varga speaking, that at all, if you have giving initiation to somebody, you will have to check up. You are yourself actually initiated by your Guru there, Paramahamsa, or not? Or at all, if you are initiated, then you will have to check up your disciple actually initiated by you or not. You will have to check up, na? You will have to check up, symptom is there. So, our Guru Bhargava speaking, that a pure Guru Vaishnava never thinking about quantity, thinking about quality, pure Guru Vaishnava thinking, well, he has taken initiation from me for a long time. Now I will have to check up his heart, how much sophisticated he is, how much maturity is there inside, when and how I can give this flower unto the lotus feet of Krishna. One actual Sadguru thinking, all their flower. When and, when and how they can get maturity, I mean in full bloom form, I can take this flower and offer to Bhagavan. Bhagavan, in the whole world, I was shouting like dog. Now I am successful to make one nice devotee. I can, I can offer this flower unto the lotus feet. That is the, the otherwise, Vaish, otherwise one Vaishnava can get lot of pratishtha. You don't know their power. Those who are cheater, they got power all over the world. So pure Vaishnava, if Prabhupada wanted to get Pratishtha, he could get. But he wanted to keep limited. Uh, within your range, you should be careful. You will have to, one Shadguru always keeping close watch on his disciple. My Guru is gone. He is watching me very close watch on me. What I am doing? I am passing lecture and doing all rubbish. Or what I am speaking, what I am doing. Guru Mahārāj is always watching. That's why sometimes, if any mistake, I sometimes go to make 108 parikrama Gurudev and excuse me. Very often I go. So that you can, if any mistake done, you can, out of your own highness, you can excuse me. But anyway, I am your child. I have no idea. This way, that Avadhu Sanyas is speaking, be careful. If you are running behind Patishtha, Lapuja Patishtha, you can only gather, collect your enmity. All over the world, enmity. So many such, so many cases. In. That was the only reason for why, according to external calculations, some problem took place in the Goryamant. There was no reason of fighting. The only reason, it was the arrangement done by Maya Devi, Yoga Maya. Some disciple in the name, some, some people, they wanted to identify themselves, they wanted to identify themselves as a disciple of the Prabhupada. But they are not actually disciples. Or at all they accepted something, later on they leave, left Prabhupada. His Achar, Achar and other show. One by one I can prove. Not that I am passing false lecture. 
I have my right to defend my sampradaya. And I have my power to prove. Maybe they can come, but I have my power to prove it in front of them. So, they wanted to identify themselves as a the disciple of the Prabhupada, but they are not disciples. Because they couldn't accept all Acharya, Acharya and others of Prabhupada. So they wanted to take the chair. So naturally fighting was fighting took place. But be sure, before passing any remark, before passing any remark, you should be very careful that the that that the litigation that the litigation there, there was also devotional mood. When Keshav Goswami is going to court for court case, then bhakti was there. Whereas he was sitting inside room, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, that is not bhakti. Whereas Keshav Goswami is going to court with turban and uh, going to judge in front of judge, going to give judgment, is called bhakti. Is fighting with all hooligan, fighting with hooligan. No father could protect Keshavji Gauri Martin Mathura. So big, big gunda. Anytime they can kill you. It was only Keshav Goswami Maharaj. It was only Keshav Goswami Maharaj. So be careful before passing any remark that our Guru Bhargava, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, if at all they are running for litigation, still it is their extreme bhakti. Be careful. Before passing any dirty remarks. That's why I told one devotee, only one devotee, only one devotee from Gauriya Math can shake the whole world. Only one one devotee, genuine devotee from Gauriya Math can shake the whole world. Whereas lakhs of people can take this, take you know, initiation from other sources they cannot do. Because it is the commitment of Prabhupada. It is the commitment Prabhupada told. The Gauri Math is the only way, Prabhupada told. Prabhupada, Gauri Math is, Gauri Math is the only way, no other way, accepted by Prabhupada. He confirmed. So, you should be very careful. So, due to this kind of infighting, there was a great facility. Maya Devi going to, Yogamaya going to arrange, so that the preaching can be done extensive way. Each lion going to stay in one individual cap. Each lion going to stay in one individual cap. Not uh, five lions taking one thing you can find. No. One lion in one cap. Because they are lion. So you are going to take the take the Siddhanta which are wrong way. You say there is no achajo, nothing, they are all useless, fear, fallen soul. They are not even human. This is not good. It's very bad. I can honor you, but this kind of comment, like Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu never wanted to dishonor, Mahaprabhu never wanted to dishonor Brahmananda Bharati, because it's Guru Bhargava. Mahaprabhu never wanted to dishonor Brahmananda Bharati. That's why when he was informed that Brahmananda Bharati is coming, can, can we bring him in front of you? Mahaprabhu, no, no, he is Guru Varga. I can go to him. You can bring to me, it's not good. You see the efficacy. You see that you can go to Chaitanya Jyotir. When Mahaprabhu was informed that Brahmananda Bharati is coming, so can we bring him in front of you? Mahaprabhu, no, 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 no. He is Guru Varga. I can go to him. Let us go with Garland Mahaprabhu. But when Mahaprabhu is going to reach in front of Brahmananda Bharati, and asking to Mukunda, where is Brahmananda Bharati? But here you are, in front. But he cannot be Brahmananda Bharati. Brahmananda Bharati is there. In front of Mahaprabhu. Mah Mahaprabhu asking, where is Brahmananda Bharati? But here you are, in front of that useless. He cannot be Brahmananda Bharati. How Brahmananda Bharati can, can wear tiger skin? You see the technique. Then Brahmananda Bharati could realize my wearing Tiger skin is not approved by Prabhu. Really so. I am wearing tiger skin to prove that I am a big renunciate. I am a great, you know. 
So I can throw away. Then tiger skin going to throw and wearing cloth. Then Mahaprabhu coming and uh, paying Dandavad until. You see the technique. Immediately when going to throw tiger skin and going to wear cloth, Mahaprabhu come, hey, you are Brahmananda Bharati. You are just like Bhagavan in a Brahma. At present, two Brahma. One is Brahmananda Bharati, one is Parabrahma Jagannath. Mahaprabhu go, no. This way, all joking. So Mahaprabhu never wanted to approve this kind of unauthentic thing. So we can never dishonor our Guru Bhagavan. We have no right. But we have our right to defend our Gauriya Siddhanta, Gauriya Mat, Prabhupada, Bhakti Mata, our Guru Bhav. We have our, it is called, it is called basic right. If we approach human right commission, if we approach human right commission, commission with all your comment, what, they can give punishment to you. If we approach all, with all documents to human right commission that is passing this kind of, they can charge them. They can take to court and go to take to jail, jail. So this is not good. So we learn that Pratishta is the most dangerous thing. But Vaishnavi Pratishta we must expect. Vaishnavi Pratishta we must accept. If I say Pratishta can come, I cannot speak Harikatha, then I am an ass. Are Pratishta can come, you don't take it, Pratishta, you can give to Guru Varga. Who told you to take Pratishta? But that for you can leave your seva. Simply because Pratishta can come. Why you are going to take Pratishta? You give this Pratishta to Prabhupada and Guru Varga. Pratishta you must take. But that Pratishta should be Vaishnava Pratishta, Vaishnavi Pratishta, Aprakita Pratishta. That is not going to contaminate your heart. That Pratishta is very good. Even if you are less interested to take Vaishnavi Pradishta, Prabhupada told you can fall down. Prabhupada told even if you are not ready to take Vaishnavi Pradishta, then surely you can fall down. Vaishnavi Pradishta, Tate Karanishta, Tahana Kurile, Lobibe Roda, you can go to hell. If you are not ready to accept Vaishnavi Pradishta, then you can go to hell. Prabhupada wrote. So what a kind of miracle Siddhanta is. Excellent Siddhanta. So we have no right to break the Siddhanta Vichara and anything. Those who, are going, those who wanted to break all the Siddhanta Vichars of Gauriya Siddhanta Vichara written by Bhakti Mataka Prabhupada, one by one I can give documents. But they are the topmost preacher. Nobody can hear us. If we speak up to the last moment of our life about the level, still nobody can take. I know it very well. They cannot accept. Because they want to be cheated. They want to be cheated purposely. That's why cheated. Let them be cheated. We have no, we are not going to express any pain and pleasure for them. Anyway, so you see, today we are going to stop here because so much thing, if you go on hearing, you cannot digest, you try to remember. I repeat a little. Whatever you hear, you try to digest, you know. So, Bhayam Pramatta Shavane Shupishad, Yataha Shaste Shahashat Patnya, Jitan Diyasya Atma Ratir Budhasya, Shangsharo, Bandhan Kimnu Karuti Avadhyan. Bancha Kalpatur Vashikya Pasindhi Bhavashya, Patitanang Pavana Bhavashna Bhyonamon. Do Kirtan for five minutes, two minutes. Do it, Kirtan. Try to digest all Harikatha. Not that here and gone. Only here and gone from there. This kind of hearing is not Boba. I tomorrow I can speak. What Boba speaking? How with what? Full intensity will have to hear. Boba speaking. So anyway, Banchakal. So go.
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Nitai Gaur Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Tiger, how do you want?